Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Sebastian and you are watching The Novice Prospector. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Um, now, due to, let's call them organizational reasons, the next three episodes will be pre-recorded only, so there won't be any um, chat interaction. Uh, it's fine actually because it gives us sort of an opportunity to do a few builds sort of in between the <clears throat> big stream episodes. We will be back on Friday with the stream. Um, that's sort of my intention. Um, that Friday night we're going to do a bit of a longer stream, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, let's, you know, get a few things built. And I probably really could have done with excavating this a little better. Because I would like this grinder pit sort of going, right? I, I would like to get this sort of started. But we're going to need a little bit of digging here to be done, um, basically because otherwise I won't be able to get those access points, right? That's just what it is. And I've just picked up a whole bunch of gravel, I'm sure, which, yeah, we can just let the system throw out. I, I, I don't really care, right? And then just, yeah, excavate more in this direction. And so my plan is for the next three episodes, we're going to do for, sort of 45 minute episodes, right? Um, fairly short lived because we're just going to do a few builds. Right? Um, there should be no reason for me to do much more of hand drilling. The only reason I'm doing it here is so I can shape the voxels a little neat, you know, at least so that I can form the pit the way I would like to. Um, but other than that, you know, this is going to be pretty much, yeah, just watch me build a few things. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to do these at 45 minute long episodes so that in between we don't have too much to watch as it were. And this should be fine, probably need to come out a bit more here. I want some of the walls obviously. We want to be fairly close to those drops um, so we can use the full width of, well the full radius if you will, or diameter off this head. Um, yeah, so it's just a bit of voxel shape, really. It's not, if you do this all with the right click, you know, there's not even any need to be having to go and forth and back, and you just make sure you like what you what you see for your pet. Um, I'm going to come out a little more here. So I feel like this is sort of coming nicely together. Um, so yeah, I've got a bit of music running in the background. Might even turn it up a little bit. Right, and then we're just gonna go and chill a bit and get these builds done. And you know, we were really quite lucky that I've decided to have the build and repair mod because that way we can literally just sort of outline it all and build and repair is actually going to do all the heavy lifting. I'm all for supporting laziness. And, well, let's not call it laziness, let's call it being efficient. There's not much more left. And this is a nice thing with a right click, it literally just has a huge area and you can literally just chew right through the whole mountain if you needed to. I mean, yeah, you need a little bit of patience, but you can certainly do it with a hand draw. You just right click your way through. And yeah, this is fine. I'll clean this up now. Come round. Oh, point him down a little bit. We're gonna need more resources in between, but we do have a miner available, so you know it's not. Um, and I think realistically, I only need to just get rid of this now, and then we should be able to build this out a lot more. Uh, 
And yeah, let's let's see. And actually, I didn't think this part quite through because I had already done the elevation correctly. Well, okay, it's fine. Um, give me another one of those, please. No, um, just a curved one, I suppose. In this case, because we can just yeah, come up. Oh, I need interior plate. Well, give me just what you have. I, I don't actually care if you have everything. Oh, that guy. And you are turned the wrong way. Why? Yes, like like so. That's that's one. Nice. Right. Put in what we have on us. Boom. Done. Um. Now we're starting with the grinders. <clears throat> so the idea here is to let me see where my right, let's let's go and get materials. So I'm gonna need quite a bit here. Right, and just grab what we have, that's fine. And then yeah. Oh. Like so, turn it once, no. So, and then we can basically do this thing. Uh, okay. Cut up a little bit more there, that's fine. Okay, we need to repair a few more, uh, like remove a few more voxels that way as well. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to behave, but I'm hoping it's not trying to grind itself. Like, surely it's not going to be that stupid. Well, let's just hope for the best. No. But yeah, we're basically going to fill out this whole space with just a whole bunch of grinders. Right. And then let me go and bring this along. Just one more. Let's see. Okay. And so, yeah, there's... there's Quite a bit of digging we're gonna have to still do. You know, just to remove all the voxels so we can place this correctly. Okay, see you see what I mean it's, it's, it's not actually too bad, so I'm just gonna let stuff get built up as it were. You know, because all we're placing right now, as far as I'm aware, is just a bit of steel plate. And then all I need to do is just put it back into the inventory. <clears throat> See, this, this is sort of what I was thinking. Right, they're just a huge pet. And we're just gonna have to pick this stuff up. Just... It's just what it is. Sort of. And the rest is just gonna have to disappear itself. Um, Like, make no mistake, we're gonna need a, need a lot more iron for this. There. I'm hoping I've placed all these right. This is what I was trying to say a couple of episodes ago. I find it sometimes difficult to really visualize just what this is gonna look like. Just because it's just pure metal wires or wire shapes if you will and it looks all right to me so we're gonna just let it do its thing right um and then ideally what i would basically want to do is just you know we're gonna come in here we're gonna go and unlock you pull you all the way in just, that's fine and then because we haven't finished that part on here and we can do that. Right, because remember, it won't build all, like, different subgrids. Like, if, if you have different subgrids on the production, it won't build them. But it's just... Right, I'm going to want to align this like so. And then I want to go right in there. What do you mean, unable to place this? This is... Okay. We may have to do the extension. 
so let's do that that is it and then grab the landing legs And coming again down to this. We know already that it's the wrong way, so it's. See, I find the bigger ones are a bit easier to understand because they actually have a sort of heel and toe arrangement where these guys don't so much, but I think this should be fine. Like one there. There. In here and last but not least put it there okay and um, also have a quick look at how this is looking yeah it's doing the thing but i think for now i would like to save a few resources so let's turn this projection off okay i mean i like this already like all the functional parts are right there good with that right um, I think there's a few things missing there. I'm just going to help it along because the components are there. So this is good. Um, and then when we leave the projection up, so there's a, there's a setting that we didn't speak about last time. Right? Let, let's quickly address that. There is a thing in projectors where if we go and get the decoy north projector, or oh, have caps lock on. It's not helpful All right, but here's a decoy projector there's a setting where you can say please keep the projection why oh because it's turned off right so if we turn it on we know there's a blueprint in there but we say keep projection right after the building is complete what's going to happen when this grid gets damaged or this sub grid let's call it or this, this projection um anything gets damaged the projection remains and any missing block will get replaced by that projection again and build repair will just jump straight in and you can just or you know if you're so inclined you can just um, hold your welder right to it but you know that's sort of a fairly important difference in, in operation in those projectors because you can either say hey yeah we'll keep the uh, protection to go and repair it afterwards or what we've done in this case, um, we've left it in its default setting, which basically disables the projection afterwards, after it's fully built. Um, because you know there's situations where like it's a mobile grid and you wouldn't want that to be um, getting randomly rebuilt as you're trying to dock back in, you know, things like that. But other than that, we are good with those settings. I think I want to save resources right now. So we're going to turn the projection off just now. I need a few seconds. Yeah, so we should be back now. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need more resources, but I've just sort of ran across something curious. I'm just um, so I have to stock on at the moment to get normal running speed. I wonder if it's something. See, now that my cap stock's off, we're actually. Just gonna hope that next reload is gonna fix that. Um, the ingredients I wanted. Right, 
But it may be that we're really going to be down. So let's see what oh, I'm receive. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's it's an it's a it's a whole thing. Build planner empty thyself, please, for now. <clears throat> and we're gonna have to go and take this guy out for last time. So are we on? I'm just making sure we are all good to go and I can Yes, I can take off. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go around. Right that way, uh, pull the legs in. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick. Sources, so we're just gonna have to, uh, yeah, keep soldiering on. Sorry, my stream control on on my phone's just conked out. This, this is an interesting day. Uh, so I'm just trying to widen the hole a little bit more so I can see where I came in. Is really not balanced that well. Oh, have I gone and just. Yay. Not. Okay. This is fine ish. I'm gonna have to return. I can't. I can't. I can't go mining like this. missing a whole big thrust upwards and back. This is going to be an interesting return. If I remember right, it took all four thrusters to actually get me lifted. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting little proposition. Um, I noticed you just sort of completely dropped down. Okay, um... and we're just gonna plonk one don't even write the care just plonk it down oh well guess what I can't I have no provision to have any 
access outside so yeah that's great uh, this is all really really great Just gonna have to do the manual thing for now. Oh, what fun and games! It is to play the space engineers game. <laughs> so yeah, this is all fun and games. Uh, I mean, I, I love the game. Um, it's sort of my own stupidity that sort of lets me down sometimes. <laughs> It would have been easy to set up a quick bar button to say, hey, dear batteries, I'm, I'm hooked into the base, please recharge from base. And I didn't. So, you know, this is all on me. So, yeah, fun of games, as I said. There's going to be a big hole right there somewhere. Yeah, I'll be out of it. Okay, uh, two point seven. I think they're just sort of moving away, or sort of perpendicular. Not going to worry too much there. Oh wait, this is all iron. It's there's a. Doing it, you know, fill up the inventory. Come up to the door with the at the moment intact connector. Let's see if we, if we can maintain that for a while. I have a feeling there's a lot of stone amongst us, but I'm gonna pick it all up. See, 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 I knew it. I can do it. <laughs> Here's a thing, you know. And, yep, you, you do your thing and then you draw up down. Yep, see? It's a whole thing there, but it's fine. I'm, I'm not like, upset or anything, but it's, it's, I was fully expecting it. You know, it saves us actually a lot of cargo space that we don't have to. Uh, I mean, at this point, I don't care because we've got a big miner coming back here at some point soon. Oh, which reminds me, um, I need to increase because I am that sort of an idiot. The miner counter has increased now to minor repairs being two. Of course. So, let's. One component could not be deposited. We've got a little bit of space, so let's make use of that. Yeah, just fill up our own inventory as much as we can here. Right, and then have a look. Is there any stone with us? 
200 pieces, so just not 200 kilos. I think like one one unit is like one kilo. It's like a sort of how they do it. Yep, could not be deposited, which fully expected. Thank you. Here, Rover, let's go back home. Just going my going to do my best essentially to ignore us for the next couple of episodes. You know, just obviously if they get close, we're gonna have to deal with them. But for most intents and purposes, I'm not gonna go and poke the hornet's nest just yet. You know, we've got a few things to sort here before we can even consider doing that safely. Um, and like those decoy towers is, is certainly a thing. Getting the miner prop up and running. I've thought about the bit large grid miner too. I have had, or you know, the, the base constructor. I have had a few thoughts there in regards to solar and all that stuff, um, which I may implement on Friday. I think that's going to be one of those. Going to do it on stream, um, but it's going to be a fairly, actually, simple build from. What I want to do, I want to sort of simplify some of the design features. Sorry. Let's get up here. Thank you. Just gonna go and use our reverse camera and nicely. Yep, line up. And this is the part I love because. So we've changed the connectors here, and you can do this per connector. We've done both connectors on the miner, sorry, on the rover and on the base here to be non-magnetic because that means I can just very gently inch, inch forward without being pulled in and damaging my any part of my grid. So that's that. We should now see yeah, that's doing its thing, and then. glass in this building at some point but that's for another time um yeah go and do the things that you're meant to be doing um and then actually i should have just my build planner no it, it's not empty so i should be able to go in and say hey dear build planner i have components i would like can we please withdraw them okay can you please make them fun Pretty sure build and repair is gonna just do the thing for me. The minute the, minute the components turn up. Yeah, see? Nice. Um, now we can let this grid recover. I. Okay, steel plate. Then I would like to try and see if I can attach that large thruster there. Actually, we, we do have one thing we can do, which, you know. So what's the whole point of creating that thing? Um, see. Okay, we're gonna have a new button. I need a new group. Give me all my rosters, like all of them. Uh, all thrust. That's just what we're gonna call it, right? Say save. That's the block. Group and we're gonna turn them off because they are actually really hungry. Right? And no, 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 don't you dare do me. This, 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 and this, right? We're gonna save it into the group. We're going to please say you, you, and you do not auto lock, unlock. Also, you. Do not auto lock, please, for all that's good and holy. Are we fine now? Yes, we are lifted up. I can now attach a thruster. Thank you. Um, now, there is a thing. I thought there was maybe an eyedropper that you could sort of hover over a part, hit the middle mouse button, and, you know, get what you've got under there. Under there. But no, it, it doesn't work. I, I thought that was a thing for some reason. 
okay rosters i'm gonna go with the sci-fi ones and i think both are on here so that's nice we can so how do iron thrusters work uh, uh zero graph okay so that, that's something that's not even gonna work out so that's fine and then the hydrogen that's for going into space and then we've got the same there there's the atmos thrusters and okay cool so we'll just add this and try and line this up like so oh yeah because components right going on with my factory at the moment it doesn't feel like it's doing the right things but we'll address that in a minute i would like to just get this guy settled back i feel like it wants to be there is that correct Let's see can we put it together? No, of course not. We've not got quite enough things. But the other thing I would like to do now is nope. No, um this guy. And just turn. Yeah. Like of course not. No 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 not a lot. I need to really investigate what on earth is happening here because are we last move action okay can be transferred compare type is to small what on earth are you even talking what what stone? Um, is this an access point? Or? Well, apparently yes. And now you're telling me there is stone somewhere in the system, right? It's in the survival kit. What are you even complaining about? see anything that really says we can't I, I would like to understand the situation here just brought home a whole bunch of iron yeah I know that's always going see it's like tons of iron Okay, what, what are we actually lacking then? It's magnesium for that, I don't care about that, I don't care about that, I don't care about that. What are you doing? Right. Okay, there was ammo stuck in the production queue apparently. Yeah, same here. Um, don't ignore that. You too, for, for now. Um, oh my goodness, I'm still doing this. Why? Okay, but we're gonna need magnesium as sort of the next big, the big uh, next meme. Uh, it is going to be our next meme because magnesium is what makes ammo. Um, come on, you are absolutely joking with me. We're gonna have to change a few things here. Where's uh, rifle gun mag? Just say zero for now, okay? Then we have the rifle can stay. I don't care. 
Where is medium caliber ammo? Set this to zero as well for now. And that can stay at 90. Right, let's let's try maybe something like that. But we're gonna just tell him, don't worry about ammo just now. Uh it's a sword tube. Stupid well okay. Okay. Well, let's see, can we nope. What are we still building? Oh right, I I I I yes. I'm an idiot. Go and just turn off, please. Uh I I I know the culprit. Mm, again, this is a me. This is a full on me. Guess what we're trying to build down here? Ooh, wait, what? No, now see, that's what I mean. There's a lot of material that wants to go down here. Let's just ignore that for now, okay? I would like to get, first of all, my miner back into a working state. That, that would be an awesome little thing to do. What is the build plan I'm saying now? We have a solar panel which is done. That is the other one, and then we're just gonna add this right and then okay same issue there and okay anymore please open the big gate and don't care about this so let's go and grab what you can nothing this is really starting to now i'm puzzled like proper Ah, okay, so yeah, there is actually a need for us to go back out. Um, I hope that you have just gone and passed all your iron on. Go in and just show me of the current ship. Oh, okay. Why can I not take this through? This is something I don't understand. There's a medium cargo container, no, that has components in it. Right. That's the one I wanted. There was a box there. Sure, seen it. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Like so, maybe, right? Let's, let's try even this stuff back first. No, oh, actually, we have a whole bunch of components here. Let's see what we need it, maybe. Nope. And, you know, no, so this is fine. But now the rover should be empty. Oh, that was my fault. Um, let's try and, yep. We need, we need, hoping there's nickel there as well, because we need nickel and, nickel and silicon, that's actually now the two ingredients here, like, well, we've got plenty of iron for now, um, but you know, this is again, medium silicon, so, we have silicon on the way, let's put it that way, let's, let's just, see what we can see here, right? I'm gonna turn even the ore detector, was it, uh, five and six, we're gonna turn them off quickly. So there's silicon, and, um, it's not the only thing you see, there's a bit of co cobalt and the uh, silicon back there, is that really it? Okay, fine. Then we may as well just turn around. We'll need a bit of cobalt, so I will grab it while we're here. I actually thought I had this already. Oh, yeah. See? I had this cracked. Just a bit right click all that stuff, so... No, it's not. Let's try and pick it up. That would be helpful. Um, 
and then I uh, imagine now it's going to be stolen amongst this, and then we're just going to let the robot obviously do its thing and sort that out for us. Um, but yeah, that's us actually getting up very close to the wrapping up point for this episode. Um, you know, things need to be built, things need to be upgraded a little bit, we need a few resources to really get there. Um, but not all hope is lost, and it's it's a it's a thing. It's a process, you know. It's space engineers. Nothing goes ever really quick, even if you wanted to. Um, so I feel like this is enough cobalt for me, and then we're going to see. It's actually not too bad. Um, this ice. Ice is there. I think there is something else over there. So I feel like we maybe want to pick up some of this ice and just this hydrogen. And the engine should be off this time so we can actually fix that situation. Whoa. Okay. And handbrake 5 6 just for a quick. Ice, magnesium, and silicon. Now, oh, see, see, we've got a few things here. So, noise can come out of here, and I know I have a. Seen it? Yeah. So this is the ice mine that we actually opened. Let's go down here first. We don't need uh, need all that much ice, really. You know, considering that we're only using the hydrogen for the jetpacks at the moment, or our jetpack, you know, it's not. This will probably do. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this 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 has got to be plenty. And where's the rover? There it is. Nice. Deposit that stuff, and then where is the silicon? You said. You see right here. Yeah, so we're gonna do our usual, you know. Um, GPS Earth uh, SI mine. I'll just actually do this silicon so mine and come down a little bit, you know, just a right click um, until we see the good stuff. And yeah, with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. You're all awesome. I'll, I appreciate every single one of your views. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your chat interaction when you uh, when I'm on stream. So yeah, keep being awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, yeah, again, peace out.